Hello friends and welcome back to Oh Honey Gaming. I am back with another game in the Life is Strange series. This time it is The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Now this game is just a very short game. It's basically a supplement to Life is Strange 2. Um, you play as a young boy named Chris. It's basically a day in the life of him. And it ties into Life is Strange 2. You will see these characters again for a while for a little while in life is strange too and i am very excited to share it with you so let's go it's a very pretty area i assume music is playing here but I have, thankfully, this game has the option where you can turn copyrighted music off. So, I love that. That makes my job a bit easier. I'm still going to put some music in here for you guys because otherwise it's kind of boring. But... So this one here, this is Chris's house. Where he lives with his dad. And I can't remember his dad's name. Nice little tree house. I always wanted a cool tree house when I was little. Sure looks a lot like Delos Crossing and tell me why. Power Bear. We'll see him again in Life is Strange 2 as well. What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. They really want you to think he's got powers. <laughs> Yay! You ha! Woo! We're saved! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit. I can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Mask or a helmet? Hmm. Uh, let's do a mask. Captain Spirit's gonna have yep, a secret identity. Cool so far. Let's see. Nice. What about the armor? Light armor or heavy armor? Okay, well, anytime I play a game that I need armor, I always choose light armor, so let's go with that one. So cool. Should he be nice. dark? Or colorful. Ooh, let's make him colorful. He's very artistic. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. The 
the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. So cute. This kid does look like Kevin McAllister Hello, for sure. Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Alright, so let's check out his room a little bit. See if there's anything. Hmm. I could do a training session with my power. Okay, let's look around. The androids team. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Nice. So glad I'm in my Hango Shalmark already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Oh, okay. So his house is home base too. Flying Fortress must be his, um... The Flying Fortress must be his treehouse. Hell Volcano, Forest of Trolls, Alien Fields, Green Walker Man, Lonely Desert, Unerwall, Evil Dog of Satan, <laughs> Castle Fireness, the big ol' eye over it, and the Terrible Terrible. Very cute. Aw, oh, Henry. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. <laughs> I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. So he's got a book to help him learn how to draw superheroes. Okay, that's awesome. Chris, since you're not going to be my own... Hang on, let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Since you are going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, Supermom. Oh, that's cute. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Okay. Tattoo. Why does it look like... It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. So it said the left trigger... There we go. So when that... When that yellow is all around it, you can do something special with it. He can use his powers or something. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. <laughs> can you imagine getting a tattoo Captain on top Spirit of your hand? Weapons, but just in case. <laughs> Power Bear and Noctarius. Look out! There we go. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Oh, so he can play with them, too. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Uh, Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! Ooh. Why Mantroid or join our team? Hmm. Join our team. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? <laughs> He's my enemy! Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't, Captain Spirit. 
Oh, release him or destroy him. Ooh. Let's just do it. Hello, Power Bear. I'm here to finally destroy Noctarius. You never fail us, Captain Spirit. <laughs> no, you can't do that to me. I'm just a puppet. Then let's cut your strings. Good job, but we still have to deal with Mantroid. With Captain Spirit in charge, our team is going to win every battle. Okay. So apparently Captain Spirit doesn't kill people, so I kind of made a bad choice there. Red. Breakfast. Be right there. Not yet, because we still want to look around. There's a lot of things to look at in here. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. He's very good at keeping himself entertained, especially for being an only child. My children have somebody to, that they live with that they can play with, and they don't do a, as good of a job as him, I don't think. They're always complaining about how bored they are. I miss playing ball with my friends. Before we moved. Red, I need now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I know! I'm coming! When? Hey, spider baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. Ugh. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Sing your heart out, boy. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. Told me never throw them away. I won't. All right, so we haven't even looked at this side of the room yet. It would be cool to shoot like that. Where's he gonna throw it? Does he have a hoop in there or something? Uh, oh, he does. Air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Oh. I heard you, jeez. Do not make me come over. Ooh. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Look, uh, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. <laughs> I think I've been good. Here's my list for Christmas. Hot Dog Adventures. What does that say? Playbox. Playbox console. Oh, okay. Drawing paper and pens. We cross that out. And then basketball lessons. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Okay. What kind of a Viking would I be? Rogue the Viking. Dad's getting a little angry. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where he hit them. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Yeah. Right. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Um, okay, so I can't look at anything else now. What a horrifying word, way to talk to your child. Is he hey, gonna be Chris, somewhere? You better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. Okay. What did you expect? A waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the uh, eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm going to watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Don't seem too thrilled about that idea. <sighs> I'm not gonna bring up that he's drinking because he's already wound up. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today, I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> no. Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. <laughs> like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody yet? Yeah ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I, that, that you got hurt. It's not that bad, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. And Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. The basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. I promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. It's the perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Oh, I'm going for the heavier stuff now. He's not even done with breakfast. Not even trying to hide it. I mean, obviously, I mean, drinking is not an, a bad thing. I mean, 
it is when it becomes all day every day and obviously you're hurting your child. We get to explore the house. Okay. What yeah. would Captain Spirit do? I've set for my awesome things to do. Um, I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. I can practice target skills. Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. There's a snowman outside. Okay. I bet Mantroid is still hiding in on this planet with my costume. I could use this, my spaceship and find him. Superheroes team is strong, but I need to keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. I could play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. I can't let Water Eater defeat me this time. Okay. Lots of different things to do. Um, I could pick up all the beer cans so we could recycle. Okay. Ooh, Dad's going shopping. <laughs> well, let's add ice cream on that list. Let's see. What do we need? Nice. Come on, come on! Oh, yeah! Four. I've never seen a beaver around here. <laughs> the best damn town in America. Mega clean. Can we just regular wash them? I don't want to like... I don't know, maybe I should have mega cleaned them. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Water eater. <laughs> Such a sweet boy. Okay. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. Trash or recycle? I mean, he's going to recycle it, I assume. Well, I hope that's not what he's had just today. Toss or pulverize? We'll just toss him. <laughs> Drink up. Maybe I should have pulverized. I don't know. I need to use his little powers more. Okay, we can open the fridge too. I didn't look in there. Mac and cheese. So I could cook him some mac and cheese. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Radiate. <clears throat> right. Big. <laughs> okay, so it's just gonna go off then. Open your goddamn eyes. Those are goddamn carrots. Okay. Well. Warned. Local police face more protests and shooting death. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to public protests and rioting. This is actually part of Life is Strange 2. You'll see that when we start that game. Like, do we need to stop this, or? No? Okay. Um. The water eater is over here. Garage key? Hi. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure he'd be tall enough, so I'm gonna close the inventory. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. I 
I can help Dad do the laundry using my mind magic. Okay, do the laundry then. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. Very helpful little boy. I love it. Okay, wash. We're not going to use his powers. I hope I set this right. Well, I hope so too, because it sounds like you might get in trouble if you don't. Dad doesn't want a set of Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm off. Come on. Don't be afraid. Go in there and turn on the heat. But first, put on your magic cape. Oh. Was his magic cape in his room and I didn't see it? Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Oh, yeah. That's how you right, dominate. Right. That's it. <laughs> Gift to Dad. Okay. Is it going to be hot? No? Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. Sweet. Dad. Yes, come on. But we can't speak to Dad. How old is this kid doing all this kind of stuff? Goodbye, Log. Damn, you're on fire. Literally. <laughs> Never been. Bam. Hmm, I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Train Traveler's Journal, so he works at the train station, I guess. your car keys that's where they went I swore I had them on me but they must have fell out of my pocket last night just put them in the bowl cool yeah okay oh so we need to go hey can you get that maybe where's the phone oh there we go uh Hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. <laughs> hey, who is that? Oh. Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember <laughs> that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Okay. I'll put the car keys in there. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. 
Papa's Pizzeria, Reynolds, and Dad's cell phone. Okay. Um. Oh, we can take that out. Take that out real quick, I guess. Ugh. I hate that beer can smell. Why is the kid doing all this? It just... All right. No! Stole the ball from that piece of shit. You suck. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, the stat book. Dad loves his stat notebooks. Oh. Okay. We can sit here with Dad for a minute. Oh. Is that all it is? didn't hear his thoughts or anything. He's got toys all over. It's like little Power Rangers. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am Marty Rex, and you are my lunch. Marty Rex. <laughs> Dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Right. Okay. Was that his car that I saw? Oh no, we already did that one. Okay, so his cape. Oh yeah, we didn't get to see the advent calendar. Because his dad's getting Jeez, mad. Good job, chocolate hog. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Oh. Look at that. He's got it all decorated. That's so cute. Dad's really getting into this. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. All right. Okay. That's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Okay. But how? Dad's room. Uh, we're gonna, not going to go in there quite yet. Jeez, where is the heat? Oh, yeah. I've got the water eater sleeping again. Maybe I should go do that first. Let's see here. Interview. Well, hold on. Let's... I wonder when I can start to shave. Does uh, superhero shave? Yeah. You got a little while, buddy. Stickers on the toilet seat. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. In a house with boys? Ugh. I never get tired of hot dog man. Mm, never. Forgotten. No diving today, Nemo. Okay, I thought there was more stuff in here, but maybe that's what it is. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make his mask, I guess. No one will guess oh. my secret identity now. I hope his dad doesn't get mad about that. One more piece and I'm almost done. Oh. Okay. Let's use the mirror. I can't fight Mantroid until my costume is done. Okay. Can you do the interview thing real quick? Yeah. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero. Captain Spirit! Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. 
Do you have any message for them? Give them or I'll crush Mantroid. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and <laughs> that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Oh. My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. <laughs> okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. He's adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, he should be able to go to the, the water eater, right? I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom. She liked art. Mark Jefferson, are you serious? Uh gross. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Shoot, Dad. Um, that could end up being bad, I would think. I don't know. Let's hmm. let's see. Let's check this out. Cities of the Pain, 50 Western movies to die for. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Those look pretty creepy. Okay, so you know what? Let's, let's do it. I don't know. He might get mad, but see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't get mad. Headshot! Ow, cheap <gasps> shot. I'm going down. <laughs> You can't kill the zombie jock. No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Okay. And spirit strikes back. I'm glad he didn't get mad about that, so good. Okay. Um. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party, too. There's my hot dog man. Hot dog man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Hero con, that's cute. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Recently, our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter a, any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Thank you. Oh, those are Dad's pages. Okay. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help. So we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool. But no way I'm ever leaving Dad. We are not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to our wonderful, your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both, always. Peter. So they wanted to take Chris away. I mean, doesn't seem like it would be bad. Oh, God. I hate going in there. Alright. 
so we can we can go in there now that we have the cape. Guess we're going to that. <laughs> it's the only thing in here, so I'm assuming that's what we're gonna go to. What do we do? Do we keep going? There we go. <laughs> Water eater. Gotta get closer. No more fear. I have to face this monster. The city needs hot water. Facing his fears. That's great. Now it's not so scary. <laughs> yes. Fix the water eater. <laughs> So we've got his cape. Oh, wait. I can make this the costume now. Okay, so we have several more things, so we're not done. It doesn't have to check like that one does. Oh, so we have to find all of the toys, too. In the water beast. I just checked that. That's fine. Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow. You put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. He's a superhero. He's got this. Okay. No, we're not taking the car keys. Um. Well. I, I guess the only other place to go is in his room right now. I wonder if we'll get in trouble. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. Hmm. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. I wonder why he's not playing ball anymore. Oh. Where's that key? There we go. What, what, what does it go to? Light on. Okay. Oh, did he draw that? I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Is that his dad? That's so cute. He may think it sucks. I love all the stuff my kids draw. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. I'm too old to be measured now, right? So it said 2017 earlier, so he must be 10 then. Not too old to get measured. Careful of booby trap. Oh, that's what the key's for then, okay. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. 
My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. This letter gives me the impression that maybe she's a um, stripper. And I don't know why. Maybe because, I mean, she says tiny dancer. But then talking about being him being ashamed of her? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. How did I dance when he was playing in high school? Dear Charles Erickson, I'm 12 and I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last time was the best I've ever seen. I hope you were drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you the next game. Todd Hamill. That's scary. Is alcohol drinking your life away? So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extension and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner situation, our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. We hope you resolve this issue soon. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior, and with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate our con your contract immediately. We're sorry for the situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues and hope you find future success. So he used to work at a school and got caught with beer in the school. Oh. My. <gasps> God. That actually got me the new Playbox. No way. Aww. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Okay, so I think that's it then. Just leaving the key there. Apparently. Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. We'll play something, but we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be copyrighted music or what. If it is, I'll put some music in. Okay, so it's definitely copyrighted music. <laughs> I'll throw some music in there. See if he's got anything to say, but I don't know if he's going to. Oh, that's uh, Snowmancer. Okay, he's not saying anything, so we're just gonna get up and move on to something else. <clears throat> I love listening to Mom's old records. Wonderful. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Well, it's perfect. There's a chair right here. What is that? Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Nice. Yeah, let's do it. That must be the last part of his costume then. Yes, this will totally protect me from man trolling. <laughs> My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. He could steal a cigarette. Oh no, he wouldn't do that. I don't I don't think Chris would do that. He's such a little sweetheart. Dad was so angry at the police. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon, or you will be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles Erickson. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate that you have gone through the 
what you have gone through the past few years, I'm afraid that I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message, I am always available to talk. In respect to your case, I'm only invoicing you for one month's work. Sincerely, Mick Collings. Gee, Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dear Mr. Erickson, we regret to inform you that the street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public, unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation so we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street. And Troid. So his mom died in a car accident. His dad obviously took it hard. Tried writing a bunch of letters to get some information, but Oh man. Didn't I never get any seen information. Dad get that mad. It really scares me. What is that noise? Well, let's hope he doesn't get that mad anymore. No, no, no! Okay, so what. What? Oh, I'm not done with his costume? Still? Boom. Maybe there's more in here. What stupid are you? How can you not score here? Now that's a superhero. Oh, okay. But we still haven't completed anything yet. Nothing else in here. Nope. Wait, there's something down there. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Saw a little nerf bullet down there. Okay. Um. I've read this one so many times. Where the strange things went. I miss how. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a look to read. A book to read. Your pal pal. Okay, so what am I missing? We played with those earlier. Did we look at that? Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Okay, yeah. What am I missing here? They already looked at him, but... At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. Okay. Alright, um... Da -da 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 -da. Pizza Arcade rankings. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what else he needs to be doing. Dad. Chris, I know what you're doing. Stop. What? What am I doing? What am I missing here? Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? I can't. It won't let me do that. It's got the yellow thing around it, but every time I press the right trigger, it doesn't do anything, so. Hey, buddy. Can you bring me a beer? <sighs> you already drank a lot of beer. Thanks, bartender. Now get me the goddamn beer, okay? Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. That's right, it's okay. Don't need to have... Don't need to have your kid bringing it to you, but okay. I kind of figured I'd. He wouldn't like now him that's saying that. a nice that. cold one. Cheers. Mm. 
Damn, that was fast, Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah. Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. <laughs> hey, you better hurry. <laughs> this can's gonna destroy the town. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. I'm always here to lead my team to victory. It's adorable. Okay, well, we can't speak to him anymore. So we can go outside. Doesn't have a hat or anything on. What did he do to that poor snowman? Set up the range. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Are we gonna hit the house and the dad's gonna get mad? Don't tell me I have to aim it. Oh, I do. Okay. Uh, yes. Nice! I have to get them all, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's get that last one. Oh, oh. There we go. Boom! Pow! Boom! Slam! Recycle that! <laughs> So there's one more thing done. Okay. So I still haven't finished his costume. Mustard something. Mustard party two. Still need to look out for the superhero team. Mantroid. And then the snowmancer. Alright, well since we're out here, we're gonna look around. We do have the garage key, don't we? We could get in there. Oh. What made that noise? I think you got a raccoon, buddy. Alright, there's... Oh. I don't know the combination. I'll have to look that up, I guess, because I'm assuming we're going to have to get in here. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Blackwell! Principal Ray, Ray Wells. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. Prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with a long list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here. So thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps your dr our dream alive. This is 2011, so she's already graduated, but... I'm going to go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Dear Emily, we received... We received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us anytime. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that. And Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night. Good night, handsome. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Oh my goodness. 
Oh no. <laughs> That's terrible. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. He's gonna spray paint himself? I guess so. Maybe that's how he finished his costume. Oh! adorable <laughs> got quite the imagination so does that mean we finished his yes, costume oh good okay okay and it's time to visit mandroid's home planet for a change okay perfect so we still have one two three four five things left to do all right i want to do one more thing and then i'll stop this episode <laughs> say one more thing. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything quickly, but I was thinking maybe this snowmancer since we're out here anyway, you know? So there we go. Rebuild him. Oh, snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? There's a broken down car around he's getting all these pieces from, so. <laughs> nice. Blow him up. What, how? How are we blowing him up? I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's it then. Okay, I am going to have to stop this here. <laughs> this episode's already been, been pretty long, and I've still got more than half of the stuff left to do, so hopefully we can get that all done in one more episode, but I guess we'll see. And honestly, I'm not sure what to think about Chris's dad. I mean, he seems... He's obviously a heavy drinker, and Chris has a bruise on his arm, so it looks like he's been pretty abusive. He obviously talks to him horribly. I mean, you have to let me know what you think about Chris's dad down below. I mean, to me, it seems like he's a drunk, and he, he's an abuser. I mean, verbally and physically, obviously. So, I don't know. Um, let me know. Put your thoughts down in the comments. As always, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.